Rick, uh, how did Maxi come through practice and through this week? And um, we saw that Redick was ruled out for game one, but what is his long-term, uh, you know, prognosis look like for this series? Uh, you talking about Maxi or Redick? Uh, both, both. Yeah, uh, Maxi's uh, making progress. Um, feels like it seems like he's a little better each day, and so hope we'll hope that trend continues for tomorrow. Uh, I do think he'll play tomorrow. Um, yeah, Redick is is out uh, for game one, and and I, I think it would be very unlikely that he would play um, in the series. Tim McMahon. Rick, uh, in, in terms of your lineups, how much of that is is how much are you trying to kind of dictate matchup versus reacting to the Clippers if, if they're staying big with Zubas or if they're going to, uh, you know, play small maybe with Morris? What's kind of the balance there? Well, the balance, the balance is <clears throat> is always the you know you're matching and trying to guard their, their great players as best you can. Um, now Zubac is a, is a little uh, different situation. He's, uh, he's not a guy that's, that's considered to be one of their star, star players, but he is a major factor for them. And so you got Leonard, you got George, um, and, and Zubac, you know, did major damage last year, you know, in the, in the playoff series. So, you know, we've got to try to keep a big body on him as much as we can, uh, you know, and the matchups with, uh, with, with Leonard and George are, are very, very difficult as everyone knows. And they've surrounded those two guys, uh, with great three point shooting, best three point shooting in the league. So, um, it's a, it's a difficult task, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great challenge. Um, we're going to have to really be persistent and, be scrambling and, and, you know, be, be giving these guys a lot of different looks um, so that, you know, we can try to make it so they don't get comfortable out there. Um, Cause when Leonard and George are comfortable and, and you're given their, their, uh, you know, their snipers quality looks at three. I mean, they're, they're very, very difficult to stop. Mark, Mark Followell. Rick, I was actually going to ask about Zubats specifically. When you go back to that, uh, as far back as that 10 for 10 game in the bubble last year and one of the seeding games before the playoffs, what has he done to you guys that, that's been such a problem? And, and, you know, how do you try to take his most effective things away from him? He does a great job of, of playing off their star players. Um, he's a, an underrated runner in tra rim runner in transition. Um, he's a, uh, he's a, he's a very good free throw shooter and, you know, he gets fouled a lot, uh, because he's big and he attacks the basket and there's a lot of people trying to wrap him up. And so he gets the free throw line a lot. So, you know, and look, he really has established himself, um, second part of last year, um, our series in the bubble and, uh. And this year, you know, he's he's played a lot more because partially because Ibaka has been out, but he's also earned the minutes. So, you know, keeping a body on him is is a huge task. Um, whenever their 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 perimeter players and their great players break the defense down, he seems to always get to the exact right spot to really hurt you around the basket. So, um, you know, we got to work cut off for us really all all around. All right. Thanks, coach. All right. That's it because Jay.